Rebar gun and iron rebar ammo unlocked. Your ingenuity towards preservation of fixit property has been noted. You earned a micro break. And welcome back. I hope you feel refreshed. <laughs> that is the funniest thing ever. Sounds like my uh, real job. <laughs> <laughs> Micro break. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully get into tiers three and four. Uh, we have one more milestone to do uh, to finish tier two, and then we have to do the space elevator and some assemblers. Uh, so let's go ahead and put those materials in there, and we need some rotors. Uh, we'll put the rotors in, and here we go. Milestone reached. The Fixit Jump Pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and an ideal travel experience. Clarification. Ideal travel experience not guaranteed. Individual <laughs> results may vary. Right, right. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. Right, okay. Uh, all right, so that takes care of tiers a one and two, and we can't start three and four until we uh, do our first project assembly, which is going to be 50 smart plates. Um, so let's see here. Before we get on that, I kind of like to get the rebar gun. What do we need to do that? That's going to be alien megafauna. Uh, we're going to need 50 plates to do that. We got the screws and we have the rotors. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. We, we need to start manufacturing plates anyways uh, with assemblers. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to bring in, uh, we're going to source our iron from a different location because uh, this one's maxed out. And uh, so we're not going to mess with that one. So we have two other iron nodes that are pretty close by. There's one just right around the corner over there. And there's one out uh, in the dunes not too far away. I think both of them are normal nodes. So let's do this. Let's go here and... Um, we, we're going to need a portable miner, uh, for this miner. So let's, uh, let's get that going first. We also are going to need two smelters. So we have everything we need for those. And we're going to need to run some belts. Uh, so I just want to make sure I have plenty of plates for that. Uh, how are we doing on concrete? Oh, yeah, we're doing fine on concrete. Uh, we're doing pretty good on rods as well. What about cable? Yep, looks like... Oh, uh, I got the quick wire we needed for the research. Uh, let's do that now. Let's see. Caterium. Uh, oh, no. We need 50 copper sheeting to get the AI limiters. Uh, we're gunning for the smart splitter. So that's that's what the deal is with that. Uh, what am I doing? No, down here. Where's our copper plating? Right here. Okay, let's actually grab all of that for now. Research completed. AI limiter recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. Very good. Okay, so now we want to do the smart splitter. We're not, I'm not going to do this right this moment because we don't really have a need for it quite yet, uh, but it is now available to us. That's the important thing. Uh, I would actually like Mark to power pull, so let's do those as well. Um, How 
um, power pole mark two unlocked. This provides additional power connections compared to the power pole mark one. Good. Okay, uh, we don't really need the zip line right now. We can do that later. And uh, like I said, we'll hold off on the smart splitter. To make a Mark II power pull, we do need quick wire. So we want to uh, keep a stack of that in our inventory. Doug doesn't have anything for us right now. So we'll keep one full stack of quick wire in our inventory. And now we can go ahead and get started with the uh, sink here. And we'll just start feeding quick wire into the sink and have it build up coupons for us when the time comes for us to start using them, which will be in a little while here, not too much longer. Okay, so let's see. We have one miner and two smelters queued up for iron. So let's run over here and get this... Uh, next one set up and then I have to kind of figure out where I want to set up my assembler situation All right, so we'll put the miner here What am I doing? In, uh, when we get into tiers three and four, I'm going to set up a, a temporary steel production over by this coal. So I don't want to really block that at the moment. So maybe what we'll do is set up some platforms here for our assembler setups. Let's keep doing this a little more. All of this is temporary. All right, let's work backwards. So first thing we want is we're gonna want a container for uh, rotors and one for Reinforced plates. Those are the two things we're going to automate. And we're also going to um, need to automate. Actually, I want to move that over. The smart plating, too, for the space elevator. Let's put that right there. Now we need to make, uh, we're gonna make, need to make a total of three assemblers, but let's just do two for the moment. So we need 16 reinforced plate for those. I'm going to uh, have to make that. Now that I look at this, I think I wanna bring this out one more foundation. Doug, are you stuck? No, you're not stuck. Let's put this one here. Grab our first assembler. All right, let's set you to do rotors and you to do reinforced iron plates. And we're just gonna have to use the default recipes. All 
All right, now, um, next we're going to need rods and screws for rotors. We're going to need plates and screws for reinforced plates. So you need 60 screws and you need a whopping 100 screws. <sighs> okay, we might need to also, I think we're going to need to also tap into the iron node out there because I don't think we're going to have enough iron. Uh, we're going to pull 60 iron from there. And 60 from there. Let's let's just set up on the first one and we'll see where we're at. We need to run power over here too. Let's do two smelters. These guys are going to produce 60 ingots for us. Uh, I think I overloaded our our grid. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll we'll fix that. All right. I'm not gonna uh, do anything else with those quite yet. Let's do two more biomass burners. I want to turn that this way. Uh, right there. There. Oh man, that is useful. Having that little line there. Okay, let's restart. So even with those two that we <laughs> that we just added, uh, Jesus man, maybe we need to add another one because uh, we're gonna need to add another miner and more smelters and a bunch of constructors. Yeah, I think we need to add more of these. Let's add two more. I'm starting to think maybe I'm not going to be able to get away with this batch of biomass. We're probably going to have to do another run. All right, get that right about there. Once we get the coal set up, though, you know, then we don't have to worry about this at all, of course. Oh, I got that. I got both of those the wrong way. What the hell, man? Okay, well that one can go there. And this one can go... There. Oh, look at you, man. You brought me some quartz crystal. Nice. Thanks, Doug. All right. How are we looking on our... Yeah, we still got quite a bit. This is producing 60 per minute. That 
That consumes four per minute. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times four is 32. So yeah, we st we're still fine in terms of our flow rate. Shouldn't have any issues with that. You already have nine pieces in there, okay. All right, that should be good enough, I think, <laughs> for the rest of what we need to do until we get to coal. I hope. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get our uh, rotors going first. So we need rods and screws. Okay, so we're going to need one of these for rods. We're going to need another one of these for screws. We're going to need a third one for screws and a fourth one for plates, just to support these two guys. That means we need to make eight reinforced plates. Let's do it. All right, for here, I'm going to just put these right next to each other. I, I wish they would have done something about this. Uh, but these arms will clip into each other. I will not do that when we build uh, build our factories. But I'm going to kind of fudge on that for now. Okay, so let's make sure we're in straight mode. And we'll run you into... Oh, wait a second. Why... What the hell, man? No, go, in, go into here. It wants to go around the front. That is weird. Okay, well, then let's just do this. Uh, why doesn't that work? Oh, I got these bass backwards. That's why. That is why. That should have been my first clue, you know, with it wanting to go into the output of this. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh. <laughs> just beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. That's not beautiful. Okay, um, so in that situation, we can control that, I guess, by doing this. Right, okay. That's still so much nicer, though. You know, having the game do that for us. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're going to do cast screws. You're going to do 50 per minute. How much do you need? You need 100 per minute. Okay. Uh, you're doing rods. You're going to produce 15 per minute. How much do you need? 20 per minute. Okay. How, ma how much iron? You need 15 and you need 12. So that's just a little less than 30. I think what I'm going to do for now, hmm, well, okay, let's wait, let's wait on that. Let's do this one next. All right, so we'll put you there and we'll put you there. You're going to need 60 screws per minute. You'll be producing 50, and you'll be producing 20 plates, and you need 30 plates. Okay, and so let's see. You need 30 ingots and 12 and a half ingots. Yep. 
You're not putting 15 and what did you need? You need a 20. I have, I only have two power shards on me. We still have a hundred more rotors in there. Okay. I think, you know, I, I just kind of know from experience and also because we already still have about a hundred rotors, a little less than that. I think I'd rather have this one run at full capacity than the rotor machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this as it is and just have it run under. So 50 screws per minute and 15 per minute. So if we do, uh, if we basically adjust this down to 50%, that'll be 50 and 10. And the advantage of underclocking is it saves power, right? So that's not a bad thing for us to, to underclock for that reason. Okay. So we'll just have this run, this uh, rotor machine run at half capacity. Now, of course, when we set up our permanent setup, we won't do it that way. But for here, uh, I think we'll be fine doing it like this. Good. Now, um, let's upgrade this to a, a Mark II because we can. Oh, man, I love that. There we go. Okay. How many, uh, how many do you have now? You have six out of seven. And we still need to get power to you as well. So let's, uh, let's just bring you out here and we'll power you up. Oh, that needs power as well. There. Okay, so we got these guys set up. Um, we just need to get their ingots going. And so you're going to consume 10 and 12. So 22 and a half ingots for that. That leaves us 30 seven and a half left from what's going to be coming over there. Okay, so you need 30 plate. You're producing 20. And you need 60 screws and you're producing 50. If we want to make life easy on us, though, it is going to cost us a little more power. We're just, we could just overclock both of these machines. And I think we'll do that. Uh, as long as, hopefully, uh, yeah, you need 30 per minute. Hopefully, we'll have enough iron to do this without having to tap into the other one. But if we do, we, you know, we do. We have it available to us. All right, so you're going to need 45 per minute and 15. That's uh, That's 60 all by itself. Right, okay, we are definitely going to need to tap into that other iron node, which is out there. Since this is an even 60 for this setup, let's go ahead and use these two uh, for that setup there. So we're going to set up a merger here. Uh, I put that going the wrong way, didn't I? We want the output going this way. You guys are both outputting 30, right? Okay. Uh, let's not have this be in straight mode for the moment because we want it to run at an angle here. Uh, 
Let's actually leave that alone for a second. And we're going to put a splitter here. Uh, yeah, output can be there. That's fine. Let's move that a little closer. Uh, splitter input. That's fine. Okay, so this will be a perfect, perfect, efficient setup. Uh, 60 ingots, you're taking in 45, you're taking in 15, and you will be then outputting the correct amount of resources into here to make five reinforced plate per minute. It's a beautiful thing. All right, we need to get some iron over to these guys now. So here's what we're going to do for that. Uh, let's go ahead and put some splitters down here with the output going that way. And first of all, I want you there. Move that over. Okay, so it does show the line. I just got to get used to that. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we still need to reset lifts when we do this. <coughs> I'm curious about that. Let's leave it. Let's not do that. And let's see what happens when we hook it up. Because that would be so nice if we didn't have to reset those lifts. It would indeed. Okay, so you're lined up one notch to the right of center. Let's go here. Let's go to logistics. I want you to be in seven. I want Mark two to be in four because that's just what I'm used to. All right, and we said that was one notch over from center. I guess that's level. Looks good. We're going to need another miner. And another smelter. Right, okay. So let's make a portable miner here. Let's take a look at our biofuel and see how we're doing. Okay, it's still holding for now. All right, let's do a an iron scan. I just want to confirm that the one out here we're going to go to is a normal. Oh, no, it's a pure. Okay, well, we don't have the materials to run a big, long Mark II belt, so we're just going to use that at half capacity for now. But that's good to know, though, for future reference. Very good to know, in fact. Tis indeed. Uh, all right, so uh, let's just make sure we have lots of plates to run a Mark I belt for now. This one's going to be a little bit longer run. Grab a few more of those, and it looks like we're pretty good on concrete. Uh, we're also going to need to run power, too. Let's grab an extra stack of wire and an extra stack of cable. And we should be good. Okay, so to save ourselves a little bit of time, we're going to run the belt out to the node.
Okay, so basically it's just a little bit to uh, the east from south. And I'm utterly not concerned with this being super neat. I'm going to tear all of this stuff down, you know, eventually. So right now we just want it to be functional. And if we need to tap into more of this iron later before we get to the point where we set up our permanent factory, um, I can upgrade this belt to a Mark IV and then we will get double the, uh, the product there. Put the miner there. We'll put the smelter. There, we'll set this to iron ingots. Uh, we actually need two smelters. I'm going to hold these out a little bit more here. And we're going to underclock you to 60. That's really nice, though, that we have a uh, uh, a pure node here. Really nice. All right, can we pop a merger on the end of that? We certainly can. Look at that. I know it's ugly, but it's functional. That's all we care about right now. Okay, so let's grab a power pole. And we'll put it right here. And we'll run power back. We'll go along the ridge of this dune here. I think we're fine in terms of uh, capacity there. And that should start up and start sending ingots our way. Okay, so that's going to send us 60 ingots. Um, If I had if I had more power shards I could overclock these to match but I don't so we're basically just not going to utilize all of those ingots for for now. We'll just use what we can and then if we decide we need to expand later we can do so. Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is Let's put another assembler right here, except for we need more stuff for that. Uh, this assembler is going to be making our smart plating for the space elevator. So we need four rotors and eight reinforced plates. What happened to all my rotors? Oh, they're right here. Okay. I 
I don't know what the hell's going on with the split thing. That's so weird. What if that's a bug? Because I don't remember having that issue in update 8. You can split any amount at any time. Weird. Okay, we need eight more reinforced plate. Didn't quite make it. Let's do another row of ramps here. Um, and we're going to have belt issues there, so let's hold this forward. Actually, we don't. I don't even think we need a, a bin because this should be able to store 50 plating just in its own own buffer there. I think. Let's upgrade this to a Mark II, so we can power that on. Okay, we still should be fine. How many coupons do we have? 14. Hot damn. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, so um, I'm probably just going to manually feed this because we only need 50 of these for for our first, you know, uh, project assembly. So we don't, it won't take that long to do. So I'll probably just manually feed that. But the thing is, is we can't... Um, we can't make project assembly parts by hand. I'm, it makes me wonder if maybe I should actually put two of these down just to speed the process up. We have the power, right? To handle that? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I need four more rotors and eight more plates. Let's do it. I'm just going to grab all of those. Set these both to smart plating. Hook them up to power. And yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, so yeah, like I said, well, I'm just going to manually feed these until we get 50 smart plating, and then we can take that back down. Now, I will be uh, creating a permanent, well, or at least a semi-permanent smart plating setup in our iron factory because we're going to need 500 of those suckers for the next, uh, you know, uh, parts assembly. But for now, we're just going to make the 50 that we need just to get to tiers 3 and 4. All right, how are we doing here? Uh, you aren't doing shit, but I think you're still waiting for your ingots to come in. Yeah, they're, they're coming in right now. And you should have some smart plates. You don't, because I didn't set up a belt for it. Uh, not smart plates, I'm sorry, reinforced plates. Let's grab all the reinforced plates out of here that are currently in there, though. And what we're going to do is... We're going to split up our... Actually, hold on. Before we do this, let's get our let's get our rebar gun going. I want that sucker. Uh, alien megafauna. We just need some screws. Rebar gun and iron rebar ammo unlocked. Your ingenuity towards preservation of fix-it property has been noted. You earned a micro break. And welcome back. I hope you feel refreshed. <laughs> oh my god, that is the funniest thing ever. Sounds like my uh, real job. <laughs> micro break. Oh shit. I love it. 
Okay, uh, anyway. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's make a stack of rebar. And, well, we need to make the rebar gun first, so let's do that. Uh, we just need one more reinforced plate. <laughs> a micro break. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's make our rebar gun. And now we're going to make, uh, we have to do that over here too. Uh, let's make a stack of iron rebar. And then we don't have to take any shit from anything. Let's put the rebar gun in this hand slot. Did they change that animation? I don't know. All right, we are armed and dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. Armed and dangerous. Okay, so let's grab those plates. Do we have any rotors left? Uh, yes, we do, okay. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut those rotors in half and cut those plates in half. And get started on some smart plating. There we go. And uh, again, we'll just manually feed that. It won't take too long. And now our next objective is to get the space elevator built so we can get into tiers uh, three and four. And so let's do one space elevator. Oh, shit, we already have everything. We just need a little extra wire, which we also have. We're moving and grooving, man. Okay, so because we're just temporarily putting this down, we just need to find a spot to plop it down. Uh, we could maybe put it up on top of that little plateau there. Sure, why the hell not? Uh, so let's get some ramps here. Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. One space elevator coming up. We gotta watch this animation. I wonder if they changed it at all. Oh, they did, that's right. Nice. I think that saucer thing is like fix it up in orbit that we're sending all of our shit to. Oh, that's awesome. That never gets old, man. That animation never gets old. So does the saucer thing. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Oh, okay. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore, and exploit. It is time to be honest. This project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fix-It pioneers offer hope for survival. Fix-It is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fix-It down. No pressure. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, nifty. All right, does this look any different? Uh, looks pretty much the same. Where's the console? It's probably over on the side where it's too high for us to get to. Of course it is. Now nah, we can get to it. We've got uh, jumper boots. Oh, this does look different, though. Look at this. Cool. Oh, neat. Okay. Beautiful. 
So now we're really just kind of waiting, guys, on the rotors and reinforced plates to, for, to make the smart plating. And whilst we're waiting for that, we probably uh, should and could do some more exploring. Uh, what the hell? How come you're not doing anything? Oh, okay. Shoot, man, that sucks. So they didn't change that. Basically, if you stack a splitter by a lift, you've got to reset the lift. I was really hoping they would change that, but they didn't. Um, so that's why nothing's happened here because the lift wasn't working. But at least now we know, and we, you know, we know what to expect, right? Kind of sucks though, but oh well, whatever. Okay, let's split these plates up. Uh, we'll put ten there and ten here. We still have twenty-three rotors and twenty-five rotors in there, so we're still doing fine. And these are one-to-one -one ratios, too, so we already almost have enough rotors to... Well, that's 25, and it's already made 7. That's 20. Yeah, we already have enough rotors to do this. So we're golden. All right, guys. I think what I'm going to do here is cut the camera and just grind out these smart platings and when they're ready I'll bring you back and we'll shoot those up into space and get to tiers 3 and 4 so I'll see you in just a little bit alright guys so we have all of the smart plating that we need and so we're going to shut these down and take them apart and again like I said we'll set these up permanently when we get our iron factory going. So let's send these up to the space elevator and unlock tiers three and four. Here we go. Oh, that is cool. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Oh, congratulations. The Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. That's new. Cool. Here we go. I changed the animation on that too. Uh, well, did they? Yeah, they have. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, that is. N oh, wow. Phase one of project assembly completed. This is only the beginning of project assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. Adequately. Reminder, not only is Fix-It saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. <laughs> it is statistically <laughs> likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. Continue yes, the work I do. For their sake. Continue the work for Fix-It. It is time to start the work on Phase 2 of Project Assembly. That's just amazing. <laughs> There's no other words for it. Oh, cool. All right, you guys. We're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, our very next goal in uh, episode four. Yeah, it'll be episode four. Will be to get coal, coal unlocked and uh, then right back over 
uh, just past our copper miner over that way. Uh, we're going to set, set up a little mini coal power plant. Uh, we're going to set up four coal generators because um, the coal that's over there can only support four. Uh, but that's going to give us 300 megawatts of continuous power, which is 60 more than we have just with this whole setup here. And then once that's in place, we don't even need to, you know, do the biomass anymore. Uh, I'll probably just keep those machines there until we're ready to completely tear everything down over here. But uh, we certainly won't need them. We can keep them there, you know, kind of as a fallback. So that is the plan for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, oh, my God, that looks cool. And if you did, please hit that like button to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.